What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting a new series. This series is called Mastering Your Life Path 11 Energy. So I'm aiming this at Life Path 11s, but essentially anybody who sort of wants to grow, make some constructive changes to their lives, heighten their awareness, um, and, and hopefully become the best version of themselves can essentially use this this tool or this series of videos. This series is actually going to be based on an Oracle deck the I worked on, I wrote the guidebook for. It's called An Unfoldment of Consciousness, right? And so many times I have thought to myself that this is like the perfect deck for Life Path 11. It's almost got everything that I've discovered um, in this lifetime piled into a box of cards. I will credit the um, artist in the description below. So I'm gonna start working through these cards and explaining the theories behind them and the questions that you can start asking yourselves or the things that you can start doing in order to, to fully grow. There are 39 cards in this deck. Um, and so there will be hopefully 39 videos. One thing I wanted to say is that for this series, it is going to be incredible if you get a journal and document this process, write these things down um, and yeah, grab a journal basically. I might as well just get started um, and start with the first card. Now this first card, right, is called the Karmic Thread. And this is the card. It is a very nice card. Um, the artwork on it is, it's really hard to see because of the light. But the artwork on it is like Rahu or Ketu. Um, again, I don't know which one, which is the North or the South Node in astrology. I love Western astrology. However, again, North and South Node, I know briefly about them. I haven't discovered lots about them yet. Um, and actually my journey on discovery learning about astrology is at a little pause at the moment but um the north and south node represent um you know like the things that you're here to learn and the things that you come here equipped with from a previous life that's a, a, a sort of what this card is about the karmic thread to me is is something that we're here to climb through gaining new experiences so this card is all about thinking about what new experiences you would like to have in this incarnation and what new experiences that you would like to learn from in this incarnation. So the theory with the karmic thread is that we come here and we have experiences and then we generate karma based on those experiences, right? And so long as we stay in that same experience, that karma doesn't, it doesn't necessarily stay the same same, but if we keep repeating basically the same patterns and doing the same things, yes, that karma in some way stays the same and we don't learn much more and we don't grow much more, right? And, and, and then we don't really go any, any higher up this karmic thread, which I visualize as a sort of spiral. Talking about how do we climb this karmic thread, right? So what we want to do essentially is burn up old karma. Therefore, we learn from the current experiences that we are in, and then when we burn that karma and we propel ourselves up into entirely new experiences, creating new karma and actively choosing to learn from those spaces and from that karma and burn that karma and just keep spiraling up the thread, attaining a whole bunch of lessons and a whole bunch of wisdom and a whole bunch of wisdom essentially like knowledge turned wisdom here on this material plane but all the things to think about as a life path 11 or as anybody listening to this video is what experiences are you currently having in this life and what experiences would you like to attain and learn from next right and if we're having current and the current experiences that we're having how do we learn from those and actually go beyond those? Because we we somehow have to learn something and grow and take ourselves out of that current set of lessons, right? So that's what Comic Thread is about. So let me give some examples, right? So one thing I would like to learn from and or one thing I would like in this lifetime is I want, I want to experience the stage. You know, I want to, I do, I want to experience a level of um, fame. I would like to be known for some creativity and I want to experience performing and I want to explore that realm and I want to learn from it and I want to learn from fame I want to learn what it is for people to know me what lessons is that going to give me 
What challenges is that going to have for my ego? I want to learn from that. And so I've actively taken action on that at the beginning of this year. I was like, right, I need to get out there and I need to put myself on the stage. And I started going to open mic nights and now I have like gigs coming up and, and I've been doing that um, like quite frequently. And I wish to keep continuing to, to go down that path and learn something new from it. Another thing that I would like to experience or, or a cycle that I was repeating, for example, was I tend to feel like, I can feel like jealousy in relationships. Um, I can feel a lack of trust in relationships. I think they're destructive emotions. I think they're destructive things to feel in, within a relationship. And I'm like, I want to feel actually very much secure in myself. I, want, I don't want to feel those types of things anymore. And so it's taken a lot of reflection and a lot of coaching myself and a lot of understanding and a lot of thinking about what that means to me, why I'm feeling that way and what's triggering that and why is that triggering that? Why do, you know, I had to really, I have to really reflect on that and I've actually been doing really, really well um, and generating new experiences and new relationships and new ways of communicating with those people that I'm coming closest to and that is something I'm still exploring Um you know, and I hope to, I hope, again, all I can hope is that I continue to grow within that and I continue to um, generate a new experience and, and, and learn something new. But regardless of what things I would like to experience, um, the question here for you guys is what would you like to experience? The first question to answer would be what cycles and experiences are you currently having that you would like to learn, grow, and move on from? What experiences and cycles are you currently living in that you would like to learn, grow, and move on from? Have a little think about that. You know, bullet point one to three things maybe. I mean, you can bullet point as many things as you like. It's up to you, how, how you work, the pace that you work at, how much you can manage. But, you know, if you pick bullet point one to three things. The next question would be, what is it that you think you are supposed to learn from these current experiences? Or even better maybe, what do you think these current experiences are trying to teach you? We'll leave it at that. What is it that you think these current experiences are trying to teach you? Okay, next question. If you learn from these current experiences, what do you think you will be directed towards? So if you learn from these current experiences, what do you think you will be directed towards? Like, what if you take the lesson in the experience, what will you then be shown after? What will you then what will your eyes be open to? What will be the next step? You know, what would be the next step naturally, right? And then um, finally, what new experiences would you like to learn and grow from here on this material plane? So what new experiences would you like to learn and grow from here on this material plane? That is the karmic thread. So once you've answered those questions, right, then it's totally down to you to almost take whatever information that you've gathered um, and utilize it. So can you learn these lessons? Can you reflect on these lessons? Can you become aware in daily life when you're in these cycles, yeah? And can you take the lesson that you think life is trying to give you? Can you do things to create these new experiences? What are these new experiences? How do you go and get them? Yeah, how do you find them? How do you work towards them? Um, and yeah, I mean, set out to, set out essentially to burn up the old karma. So learn from the lessons that you think life is currently trying to teach you. And then secondly, go and hunt out those new experiences and get the new lessons and reflect on those that you think you are here 
to learn or, or that you are, you want to learn here on in this current incarnation. Things to look into, by the way, side things to look into um, is Rahu and K2K2 if you're into Vedic astrology. The North and South node if you like Western astrology or, you know, whichever one just takes you. Look into them both if you want. Um, and then find those placements within your birth chart if you know the time you were born, the location you were born. And have a look at what your personal birth chart is saying about you and about Rahu and K2, about the North and South node and yeah, what, what it's saying to you. What have you come here with? What are you here to learn? There's a, there's a world to explore. There's a vast amount of information to explore. There's a universe to explore out there. So take a look at um, the North and South node, where they're placed in your chart and what that might mean for you and see if you learn anything from that as well. Um, astrology is an amazing tool and I use it on a daily basis for my own self-discovery and for my own personal growth. Um, it's helped me a lot along the way. So I always recommend astrology. Um, anyway, that is first video down the karmic thread. Guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you got a lot. I hope you will get a lot. I hope you continue to learn and grow from your current experiences and, um, yeah, become the best version of yourself while you're here. Um, in this material existence. I want to follow my creative journey. I make music. Follow me on Instagram. That is like my my scrapbook, my musical scrapbook, um, my lyrical scrapbook, spoken words, music, drawing, all of it. I love it all. Um, and it is at jag at j a g dot u dot r. And you'll find my other profiles on there too. Yeah, with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Appreciate your time. Um, and yeah, see you in the next video.